I got a question for you, Mr. Yeah, what you, what you need? I, I just want to know, stop. I recently got laid off from my job, right? I've been working there for 13 years, mm -hmm. and um, you know, company restructured, so you know, they just went a little different direction from mm -hmm. what you know, I mean, they they were doing. So I just want to know, like, how do you stay motivated uh, when you keep putting applications out and folks are telling you that you're overqualified, or the stuff that's going to pay you what you think you're worth? You're getting told you're underqualified for it. So how how you stay motivated and keep well, putting yourself all, out there? Well, first of all, let's look at the layoff for what it was. It was time to go for you. Yeah. And sometimes, man, we don't jump. Sometimes we get pushed. Yeah. See, God is really fair. When he wants you to do something else and you won't do it, he'll bring about a set of circumstances right. that'll cause you. So now, quit looking at the negative. You can't find work. How do you stay motivated? Let's look at this for what it is. There's obviously something that you should be doing instead of what you was doing. But what you're trying to do is go back and get something similar to what you was doing yeah. when obviously the sign for you was to move on and do something else. So now let me ask you this. What is your gift? Uh, I'm pretty good in the kitchen. Right. So why are you down there <laughs> around at the computer store? <laughs> See. You see? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Your gift is you really good in the kitchen, but your former job was what? Sales rep. Sales rep. Of what? How beverages. Right. But you good in the kitchen. Yeah. So now you're trying to find another sales rep job yeah. when it's going against what you was created for. Yeah. Your gift is in the kitchen. See, so you're gonna go and get counter against what it is you were created to do. So now you off somewhere selling beverages when you need to be somewhere cooking. You ever thought of that? Yeah, I thought about it, but again, it, it, it's just the fear of not succeeding. I think that that's what stops a lot of folks. From that's what stops, fear is the number one cause of failure in this country. Yeah. The fear of not succeeding. So let me tell you something. You already laid off. What you scared of now? You ain't working. You're right. See, You're right. The opportunity for you is to go get a position in cooking, go to culinary school, develop your skills, and be what you really would love to do when you wake up in the morning. That's why you got laid off. That's why you sitting here next to me. That's why you asked me that question. See, God, he's slick, man. He's smooth with it. He'll put you right where you need to be and hear the thing right you need to hear at the perfect time. Now, you ask me for how do I stay motivated. You ain't got to get motivated. You've been given a second chance. Yeah. So, dog, I, I lost everything I ever owned. But it was the chance to get some, Look at me. Yep. This is all you doing. So what I want you to do, pursue your cooking career. Pursue your greatness in the kitchen. The Bible says your gift will make room for you yeah. and put you in the presence of great men. I appreciate that. Your gift. I appreciate that. What, what do you really want to do? I've been telling people about uh, trying to purchase a, a Jamaican food truck uh, for a little bit, but um, it, it, like I said, cooking is really my passion. Like I, I do it fairly well, well, very well, without a lot of effort. And you know, I grew up my grandma, so I, I, I learned a lot from her in the kitchen. When everybody else was playing outside, I was in the kitchen with her, um, just trying to hone, hone in on what she was doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. definitely serious about it. I was just talking to my wife right now, like I'm really gonna pursue it because I think, you know what I mean? You know, who I who is that? Say it again. Who is that next to you? It's my wife right here. Next oh, that's your wife. Y'all got yes, kids? Yes. Uh, we have two adopted kids, yes. Oh, okay. Paige, you hear that? Yes, he's, he's got two adopted kids. He's oh, 40 he's years adopted. old. He's adopted. He, no, he's not adopted. He got two adopted <laughs> kids. They married. He's 40 years old. He was thinking about getting a Jamaican food truck. But let me ask you something. Would you go to culinary school? Yes, sir. I would. He yeah. said he'd go. What can we do? We're we, we going to pay for the first semester. We'll, based on his grades, we'll pay for the second. Where you live, man? Valencia. Out here? Yes, sir. All right. I got my... That one's out here you, you looked up. 
There's a culinary school out here. I just call him foundation director. It's $15,000 a semester. We will pay for your first semester. Based on your grades, we will pay for the second semester. So. Yeah. So. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. We'll do that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for sure. I know. I appreciate it. I know. I know. It's all right, man. It's all right, man. I know. I know. I've been there. I've been there, man. I've been there. Thank you. I know. I know. I know, I know man. It's been in me at least life, man. I know. I I know, that's why you came here today. I've been there, somebody helped me one time. I've been there, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. I got you, man. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.